Hi, I'm Don Shockley with Martin Lucy Imports, and we're here today to do another cooking video. And I'm gonna go kind of way off the reservation here. We normally do Italian dishes, and today we're gonna go to Thailand and make a Thai beef salad that I learned how to make when I was in the Navy, and this was kind of a, in every party we had, one of the wives would bring this, and I fell in love with it, and I haven't made it in a while, and I made it a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, well, this would be kind of fun to do for something different. So it's a Thai beef salad with rare roast beef, it's got mint and basil and cilantro and lime juice and fish sauce and I thought it would go very very well to Trebbiano, our Martin Lucy Trebbiano which is a light, crisp, easy drinking white wine and should go very nicely with this and now that spring is here and white wine season is back upon us, this is great white wine, um, I like to call it a pool pounder if you're sitting around the pool or on the beach, this is just a great wine to drink while you're sitting out there Nice, easy drinking, good acidity, good fruit on it. Beautiful color. Our Marty Lissi Trebbiano. Oh, so good, so good. All right, so to make our beef salad here, I'm going to start off with some rare roast beef. I got this at the deli today and they sliced it for me so that makes it very quick and easy when they do part of the work for you. I'm just going to cut it into thin strips here. A julienne we would like to call it. But just strips is fine. Put this in my bowl. And it has a bunch of wonderful herbs to it. So I've got some cilantro here. I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe a third of a cup of chopped cilantro. Get a nice chop. And I love cilantro. It brings a nice freshness to dishes. Of course, we use a lot of it here in South Texas for our Mexican cooking, but it's used all over the world. I'm going to do a couple of chopped green onions here. Take the stem off and cut them very fine. I'm using about half the tops of the greens. Give it a nice flavor there and a little bit of crunch. I got some fresh basil. And I'm gonna do probably about six or eight leaves here. I'm gonna do a fine chop on those. I love the smell of basil, it's just so wonderful. This makes it Italian because it's got basil in it. I'm going to do a very fine chop on that. I've got some mint. I'm going to do about four mint leaves and put them in there. It gives it a nice little contrast in flavors. You've got a, There's just a lot going on in this. Again, I'm going to chop that very fine. I'm going to do one more because it smells so good. These fresh herbs are just wonderful. And with springtime coming, there'll be a lot of herbs available in your farmer's market. And there. And I'm going to do the juice of one lime. Give a little bit of tartness to it. Handy dandy lime squeezer here. Now it's interesting because in Asian cultures and in Mexican or Hispanic cultures, they do a lot of lime and lemon juice with their meats. We typically don't do that as much in the States, but it's starting to catch hold. But the, the lime and citrus juices really bring out the flavors of the meat, and I think it makes a wonderful combination. Okay, a little bit of fish sauce. Let's give it a few drops here. It's a pretty strong flavor. Some people like it. If you really like it, you can add a little bit more. If you don't like it, you can use a little bit less, but it really brings out a pungency to it. A few red pepper flakes. It's got a little bit of heat going on here in it. And then a really fun ingredient, I'm going to put in some toasted rice powder. So I've got some jasmine rice here. I've got a very hot skillet here on the stove. And I'm going to toast it on the stove until it gets a nice nutty brownness flavor to it. 
and it's something you don't see very often, but it gives this dish a wonderful little bit of a crunch to it and kind of a nutty flavor that's very, very nice. I'm gonna let it go until it just starts to get a little bit brown. You can see it's smoking, but that's okay. We're not gonna let it burn, but you want a very hot skillet to do this in. So, developing a nice nutty, you can smell, it smells almost like popcorn popping. I keep it moving so it doesn't burn. And it's just starting to get a little bit of brown color to it. You don't want to burn it. But the more color you get on things, a lot of times the more flavor you get until you burn it, and then you get that bad flavor. So we don't want to go quite that far with it. And it's just starting to get a nice golden brown. And so now I'm going to put this into a coffee grinder. This will grind it into a nice fine powder. We'll add that to our beef. And we're almost done. It's a very quick, easy dish. This can get loud here for a second. Oh, it's got a wonderful aroma to it. And I'm gonna put in probably a half a teaspoon of the toasted rice powder. And that's it. Um, give it a quick toss here. Mix everything up. And if you let it sit for about an hour or so, the flavors will kind of melt. But it's delicious, quick and right, and right out of the bowl right here, right now. And traditionally, it's served with cabbage leaves. So today, I've got some Napa cabbage. And we're going to go really native here. And so to try it out, I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And you put in the cabbage like that. And that's all you need. And you can serve it just like that. Or let people serve themselves however much they want. It's a wonderful lop. Thai beef salad. Go with great with our Martin Lucy Trebbiano. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for uh, watching this video with us. Be sure and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.